Hey there, fellow foodies. This is Chef Jen from the CTE Center for Frisco ISD, your culinary arts instructor. So, do you love onion rings? I love onion rings. However, I try to avoid fried foods, but we don't always have to do that all the time, right? We can have a little bit of fun. So, I like to have some fun with on onion rings today. However, as most of you know, I try to avoid gluten as much as possible. So I tried to figure out a good way to have some yummy onion rings that were gluten free. And I think maybe I've done it and I wanted to share it with y'all today. So we're going to start with our onion. Vidalia onions are the best. They're nice and big. I had these on hand. And we're going to cut the ends off and we're going to peel off the outer layer of skin. Nice juicy onion. And you're going to cut these into rings as wide as you want. You don't want to make them too thin. If you make them too thin, your batter is not going to stick to it very well. All right, now let's separate our onion rings. Man, that's a, a strong onion. <laughs> the last of our rings out. We have a bowl here. We have a lot of cornstarch. This is uh, our buddy Bob, Bob's Red Mill products. This is his gluten-free all-purpose flour. We've got some garlic powder, onion powder. We've got some salt and some paprika. You can um, sift it all together if you want, or you can use a whisk. We're going to grab a fork and some club soda. All right, so now we're going to take our onion ring. You can use a fork and tongs if you want to. I just think they're harder to hang on to. I've just always thought that my hands were my best tools. I don't need tongs or a fork. And you're just going to kind of let your onion rings sort of hang out, act like they're at the spa, getting treated. Now I have in my pot over here uh, peanut oil. It's also got a little vegetable shortening in it as well. You can use whatever you think, whatever frying oil you prefer. Peanut oil is always a nice clean one. And I'm going to drop it right in there. They tend to want to stick on the bottom, so just give a little look-see. And we'll drop another one in. Do them in small batches. You don't want to overload your um, pot. In you go. All right, let's take a look at what's going on in our pot. This one's nice and dark. Ooh, look at that color. It's so pretty. I also like to use peanut oil because it's a very clean oil for frying. It, you can reuse it, which is kind of cool. Um, but it, there's no funky, oily smell, all right? It, it doesn't feel like I've got an oil slick going on where I'm working. Uh, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I just have found that the peanut oil works really well for this particular item. That is looking nice. Let's check his friends in here. Everybody gone swimming. And this is just a nice little way to have yourself a little guiltless pleasure because you can see how many onion rings you can get out of one onion. All right, gang, so there you have it. A great way to enjoy gluten-free onion rings. I hope you enjoy it. This has been Chef Jen here at the CTE Center in Frisco ISD. Mm -hmm.